Hi guys, welcome, welcome and welcome to the channel. It's so great to have you here. My name is Tessie and you are on Chats with Tessie and on this channel we discuss so many things, viral topics, my lifestyle, black women, better outcomes in dating and more. Grab yourself a cup of whatever you like, glass of wine, juice, I'm not on those things right now. I'm fully on my green tea. So I've got green tea here with me. But yeah, grab yourself a glass of anything fancy and let's have a discussion. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. So for all of you who know, I have recently just dropped this really interesting video on how I went from struggle love to um, being a spoiled fiance. And before I continue, guys, can I just show you this really cute thing? My niece and nephew are coming to visit me this weekend. And I got this really cute thing for my nephew. And then I got this for my sister because it's her birthday soon. So it's going to be really awesome. And Greg is coming along with us, so it's going to be fun. For those of you who don't know who Greg is, Greg is my fiancé. He is Polish. I am Nigerian. Yes, it is an interracial marriage. Okay. So, as you guys know, I recently dropped the video. If you haven't watched it, I'm going to link it up below actually above sorry and can i just can we just talk about can we talk about why i'm seeing a lot of women women who are low maintenance and there's nothing wrong with a woman being low maintenance in my opinion there are women who are low maintenance you don't require anything of men fine i am all about choice i want women to have the choice to choose what they want to do in life so if you want to go ahead and you don't require anything of men this is perfectly fine do not require anything of them Believe me, the vast majority of men are like that. They don't want to give you anything. They don't want to do that. The vast majority of men, they know that they have to provide. And a lot of men do wish they could provide, right? But a lot of men aren't able to. So they would rather you not ask them for anything. They would rather... And men are very, very smart and very, very good at manipulating women into not believing that they should demand anything. Men are very, very good at this because most men, a lot of men are struggling. So because they're struggling, they don't actually have that much to provide. A lot of men do wish they could provide, but because they can't, they'd rather you not ask them to. So if you're a low maintenance woman and you are, you know, you're happy with not getting anything from men, blah, blah, blah. Great. I'm happy for you, but do not come onto my channel and start talking about how, why do women have to demand some things from men? Why must men pay for everything? Why do you have to live lavishly? Or more, because you demand nothing from men does not mean that other women have to follow suit like you, okay? Because you demand nothing from men and you don't want men to give you anything does not mean other women have to feel the same way. And if you're so satisfied with your, you know, not getting anything from a man, then what's the problem with women who demand more? What are you having a problem about? You don't even know yourself. You're confused. And do you know the, the funniest thing that makes me laugh about women like this? You have said that you do not want, you don't need a guy to do anything for you. You can do it on your own. Fine. That's fine. But what makes you think that the women who are demanding more, what makes you think we don't have things of our own? Hmm? What makes you think that? Huh? Oh, so you think that we that are demanding stuff from men, we don't have things of our own. We have things all, we have things. But let me tell you, the reality is that many of you are lost. You believe that if a man spoils you and takes care of you, he's trying to buy you. Many of you have never in your life encountered a man who is loyal, wants to take care of you and wants to spoil you. You believe that man is one or the other, black or white, either he spoils you and cheats on you or he's loyal to you and he's poor. That is not how the world works. The world is not black and white. I keep telling women time and time again on this channel, it is the character of the man, not the skin color and not how much he earns. There are some men, it doesn't matter how rich or poor they are, they will always be scoundrels forever. It doesn't matter how rich or poor they are. Like, I really need women to understand. How many of you have dated regular guys in the whole, in the, in the, with the mindset of, oh, why do women have to live lavishly? A guy doesn't have to provide. And the guy still did you dirty and messed your life. The guy dis devastated you. The guy drug you from heaven to hell. From hell to heaven and heaven to hell and all around the world. 
How many of you have gone around talking about how, oh, guys don't have to do anything for me, I can do it myself, and then you complain, why is it that men own, why is it that my husband only buys me things during my birthday or during Christmas? There are many of you women that the only time you get flowers from your husband is on your birthday, if you're even lucky to get that. How many women did I see complaining during Valentine's Day that, oh, my boyfriend didn't give me anything, oh, my girlfriend didn't give me anything, he forgot. It's because you don't demand anything. And you women who are lying to yourselves, oh, don't get me wrong, I really like the women that are low maintenance and they don't have a problem with women who demand more because those are the women that are true to yourself. But many women lie to themselves. You talk about how you're low maintenance. No, it's because you can never imagine a man who actually is able to be loyal to you, love you, spoil you, take care of you and have integrity. You believe that either the man is a sugar daddy and cheats on you or a man is broke and loves you. That's not how it works. I keep telling women this. Why can you not understand this? It's honestly mind-boggling. And you know, the worst thing is a lot of women still don't understand as well that you're treating men like babies. Men can be babyish. They can act dumb. But men are incredibly smart and cunning. These are people who invade countries, invade, strategize how to invade countries and destroy countries and kill women and children of those countries. Do you really think these men do not know that they're supposed to provide for you? Do you really think so? Like, really? Do you really think that they don't know that they're supposed to provide? Okay, for instance, me and my fiancé, Greg, we travelled to Poland last year and we went to the Ukrainian border. And when we were there, we saw many men in, you know, in their uniforms, dressed up. Obviously, the border town between Shemish and Ukraine, that is the Ukrainian border, that, that is the Polish border, but it's it's also literally right on the border of Ukraine. And we saw so many men there dressed around. These are men who are putting their lives on the line. And why do you think men in Ukraine are putting their lives on the line? They're doing that to protect their families. Do you think these men want to die? Of course they don't, but they know that they have to provide and protect their families. I really, I really wish women would understand that Men know that they have to provide. They're not stupid. It is only you who remove the responsibility from them. You remove responsibility from men and you wonder why you get nothing. And let me tell you something. In this life, you get what you ask for. If you ask for nothing, you will receive nothing. And when you receive nothing, do not look around at other women who are collecting collecting things and their men are spoiling them and, them and, and start complaining. Hmm, where is the man in there? Omo, who told you to demand nothing? Men love women who demand nothing, by the way, because a lot of men don't have anything to give. And it's not like they don't want to give. They do. Do you not think a man who loves a woman so much, do you not think he would want to give her things if he can? Just use your common sense. I really need ladies to use your common sense. Do you not think a man who really loves a woman would want to give a woman everything? Because this is what they work hard for. At the end of the day, if a man works hard, right, he works hard, he suffers to get to a stage and he has nobody to share it with, what is he going to do with the money? What is he going to do with it? What is he going to do with it? Like, I really need ladies to get sense. All of these women that are going around going low maintenance. And please do not come on my channel and start assuming that you know me and Greg's relationship. Because I swear, that would be the most foolish thing you could do. I've seen many people come on, come on my channel and try and do that. And you just end up looking silly. Don't do it because you don't even know what you're talking about. I only post 5%, not even 5% of my relationship online. Like, 3%. And let me tell you something. One of the reasons why I am so, so have such high standards is because I know what men are like. I do. Do you know one of the reasons why Greg says he loves me so much? He says he loves me because he knows that I treat him like a man. I treat Greg like a man. I do not treat a man like babies. You cannot be treating men like babies as a woman. Men are not stupid. They're not stupido. Even though they may act it, they are not. They are very cunning and very intelligent, right? And I need women to understand this. It is you. It is you who are allowing yourself to demand nothing. <laughs> there are women who will demand and they will get and you will be left out. And those type of women, I mean, you shouldn't have a problem with it. Greg told me one of the reasons he loves me very much is because he knows he will never slack with me. One of the reasons he loves me so much and does things for me and provides is because I demand things of him. I push him to that next level. He has excelled so much in his life from meeting me. And the, the contribution I bring to his life is priceless. So I need low maintenance women to just live your low maintenance life. And, you know, that's the life you've chosen for yourself. So live it.
and leave other women. 